Hello everybody, Burnt Dark Guy here, and welcome back to Core Keeper. Alright, so I was pretty busy in between episodes, getting stuff ready for today, and collecting materials and all that good stuff. So I went and sorted our chests, so here we got uh, valuables and some chests to open, which actually I'll grab this right now. If you're wondering why how I got so many, uh, fishing is amazing, by the way, and I did find a few of the mining outs around the world, so... But the majority of these, like, came from fishing, so, which is pretty good. And speaking of fishing, I got uh, all the way up to 95 fishing, which is pretty crazy. So we're only missing one more level to have, like, uh, all of these. So I got 25% uh, bite faster, like the fish bite faster, and then 10% chance to find rarities, 25% chance that we won't lose our bait when we start using bait. And then this is going to be damage against bosses if we eat fish food. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, next over here, we got uh, stuff for pets. Uh, items I want to keep. So these are all things that uh, I want to keep for as like collection wise. So that way we collect everything in the game. Uh, down here is all the stuff that I got from fishing. So as you can see, you're going to get uh, lots of crap from fishing. And some of the items that we picked up too, these are the doubles that I'm going to sell off. So that's one of the things we're going to do today. And then that one's pretty empty. Uh, did get lots of fish. So we got lots of fish. And as you can see on the hot bar, we got lots of food. Uh, we do have some, uh, some stuff to start our farming with today, which is good. And then material-wise, we got lots of wood. These are where I'm going to put all my building blocks and stuff. Here we got all of our minerals. So we got 326 copper. A lot of that came from fishing and a lot of it came from me mining as well because I went back to uh, this area up here and I dug into the walls and stuffed and grabbed everything that we could and came back and smelted it. Um, so let's start off with actually placing down all these chests and then opening them one at a time to see what kind of what kind of crap we got in here because if we can... Um, we can get some good stuff. That'd be great. All right. So, open. Uh, we'll put the keys here to make things go faster. And then we'll open them all up together. Oh, I should uh, just wait. So far, so good. I gotta stop hitting the E button afterwards. There you go. I think I got it now. <laughs> All right, so now let's see what we got here. <clears throat> we got a musket. That's pretty cool. That actually could come in pretty handy. And then we'll just throw all this stuff away afterwards. Uh, we got Witch Doctor jeans and a bunch of tin and a bomb. Uh, copper sledgehammer. That's pretty cool. Uh, I got a cave pouch. Some materials. Fang necklace. Critical hit and life steal on melee hit. That's pretty good if I was a melee. We got a witch doctor hat, which I found one by killing an enemy, which was kind of nice. <clears throat> oh, look at that. The Tomb of Darkness. This is one of the things I was looking for, so that way we can summon enemies or summon um monsters so that they will fight the enemies so we're getting a lot of just basic materials and stuff another fanged one i got a feather just like i had earlier this is like good to help us with uh materials so another crossbow got a knife and a larva ring Got the apprentice pants. And last but not least, we got that. All right, so that's not too too bad. We did uh, we did pretty good. So we did drop some stuff on the hair, and we'll have to go pick that up. So what do I have here already? Uh, I guess I'll keep a pouch just for giggles, and keep one of those. Keep one of those. Uh, the Witch Doctor jeans will actually wear those. The hat I can sell. The rest I can get rid of. We'll keep one of them. The blunderbust. We have a knife already. So, 
this actually becomes kind of like a, a weapon, which is handy. Um, let's see here. The jeans we can wear because those will actually help us with our, our minion stuff. So we're just missing the chest now. That's pretty good. <clears throat> All right. So let's put the rest of this crap away here. We can get rid of that. I uh, do want to keep the mallet, right? Since I didn't have one yet. Uh, money we can put here. And then I think the stuff we can put down here. I don't think I had the apprentice. Oh, I did. All right. There we go. Bombs. And then here. And then the rest oh, should go here. Beautiful. All right. So we got a pretty good chunk of materials going on here. That's that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. All right. Put the keys back. Having um. Having that fishing is uh, pretty great. Let me just tell you. Well, we'll just pick up all these. We'll go back and get our items that we missed. Now we have some chests for later if we really want to have use these in particular chests. I won't have to go make any, which is kind of nice. So what do we pick up here? Okay, stuff that we can sell. That's good. And then the chests, I'll just plop in here for now. Just because they're already done. All right. <clears throat> so now we're going to get into farms today. Farms, we're going to need some stuff here. I think we're going to do the wood farms first. Okay, the root seeds. All right. Then we're going to need a hoe. I think I'm just going to use the wooden hoe for now because it only does a one by one. We'll just take that off the inventory. And we're going to need a watering can because we're going to water our crops. And I think that's it for now. Like, this will do a two by two, but, like, I'll get one for later. And uh, we will need a shovel for later on, too. Because we got some X's all over the map that we can go do. All right, so I went ahead and uh, did a bunch of mining. Mined up here, because uh, we wouldn't add enough room to do what I want to do here. So, um, like I was saying, um, there are different types of wood farms uh, in this game. And I decided to choose this in particular one because it appealed to me the most. Three, four, five, six. And then that would be the main route. Uh, yeah. I'm we'll just have that come down here. Okay, so the main purpose, we're going to make these rows come down here like this. And we're going to do ten of them. All right, so we're going to place something down like this. And uh, what we're going to start with is by hoeing just one spot here in each one of these. Now, this is going to take a little while to grow. Um, so this is why I'm kind of starting this now, because uh, it's going to take quite a while. So now we can grab our seeds and I'm oops. And we're going to have to find a lot more of these seeds in order for making this farm um, work properly later on. So we're going to have to get a lot more seeds. So the basis of all of this is from what I understand is you start off by growing your first, your first, um, your first plant here, and it's going to extend all the way down. Now, once it's fully grown and fully gone all the way down, you will remove these ones here, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five of them. And what you're going to do, what's going to happen is when these ones mature, they'll join up with the one that's in the middle here. And they'll all act as kind of like one. And it helps produce wood a lot faster. And then you'll have a drill at the end mining just that last little square that's going to come out. So you're going to have like all of these plants trying to grow and it's just going to constantly shoot out wood and it's really efficient in my opinion. I think it's going to be great. So five of these are going to go to making normal wood and then the other five are going to go to us um, making logs or uh, making uh, planks. Sorry. So that's going to be for future us and that's going to take quite a while to grow. The next thing we're going to set up is uh, going to be just for normal farms. 
Hmm. I guess I guess we could do it temporarily now from now. Just putting them here, right? Yeah, sure. This will we'll make this our farming area for now, right? And then we'll go too wide for these. Because I don't have like a lot of plants at the moment, which is fine. But we'll uh we'll get more. And we'll end up uh getting more by killing enemies and stuff like that, so I think that'll be fine. Then I guess we could grab the other hoe now. Um, if we use this one, if I'm not mistaken, it uh, does a two. Yeah, does four of them. Oh, crap. All right. We'll place these here. And then we'll go get some seeds and uh, we'll start planting. So we'll start off with the um, heartberry seeds here. And whether we end up using a lot of these in particular um, things to, to cook with or not, it's good to actually just throw them all out because you're going to be gaining uh, experience for growing them, right? And that's kind of important. I'm not sure how much light level is a, is a factor, um, but... I'm hopefully that it doesn't need too, too much light. I don't think so. Because they grow in the dark down here, too. Like, not all this whole map isn't all lit up, right? So it does maybe make a little bit of sense that they don't need 100% light. So we'll go and we'll water all of these. And these will start. All right, so now we got all of our farms planted and watered, and these things will grow over time, and we'll be come back to harvest them. Uh, you can use the hoe to harvest uh, your your stuff, so that way it'll be a lot quicker to harvest all of them all in one shot. Just don't hit your button twice, because you're gonna have to like replant your um, replant, re redo it again. Anyhow, so uh, next thing I have on our task for today's list is I want to build a place for that NPC. And I want to do that out here. I want to make like a little NPC village out here. And I think that's what we're going to go do now. So, we'll put some stuff away here. That's food. Can throw that in there. That, that. Throw all that crap in there for now. Alright. Um, I want to get some of these. Some of that. And we're going to build some walls. That should be good. Build a door. Some flooring. That should be good. Okay, so the goal is for us to build like an NPC place. So I think... What we're going to start off by doing... Oh, I wanted bridges. I want to make some bridges. Ah, let's go wait. Eight will be good. We'll see how uh, how far this is. Two, three. Okay, so maybe I won't go eight. Because it doesn't look like the... Uh, let see, there's water there already, right? Or land there already. I'll have to probably end up pushing some of that back, but that's is perfectly fine. So I want to kind of give them like a, a little bit of a front yard. So that way we have a nice little area for them to look out on because they're not going to be able to walk out here. I'm going to completely bar them. <clears throat> so we'll have like a little island coming this way, I think. Oh. I will uh, light some of this up so we can see. I'll go three. Yeah, three will be good. Yeah, I'll definitely have to push some of that back because uh, it will get in the way of our little village. Um, unless I can kind of start here too and work. Yeah, I'll do that. I think that will be good. And then I can make my way over there later and, and pull it back. All right, so one, two, three... Okay, I think this will work. Um, seems to be enough light in here. So let's try putting down this little pot here and see if he spawns in here. 
Oh, yes. Look at that. He did. Perfect. So now, this guy here, we can sell him stuff and we can buy stuff from him. So he's got copper ore. He's got a curious egg. He's got scrap parts. And he's got fiber for sale. Pretty much we'll probably never buy, ever buy anything from this guy. He'll be just mainly uh, someone we can uh, sell our junk to. So, for example, we can go over here. Um, I'm just going to put all this stuff away here. Oops. Put building stuff there. It seems pretty good for me. I have a feeling I dropped those. Give me those. All right. Um, yeah, so I wanted to sell stuff. So we can go over here. Just give you an example. And try to keep your door closed. That way he doesn't wander off anywhere. And then you could just throw all this in here and make some profit. And that's kind of the gist of that. And it's better to do that because I think other NPCs have good stuff to buy. So he's just going to be a, our seller. Where are we going to sell and unload everything and get some good uh, good bucks for all the fines that we have and from fishing and all that kind of stuff. So this is kind of the idea that I'm going to go for. Obviously, we're going to terraform a lot of this area and get rid of it, a lot of stuff and push stuff back. So that way we can have a proper NPC village, which is going to be very nice. Apparently, I'm hungry. So I think uh, with that being said, I think we should start going adventuring for today. Um, while these things all grow and as you can see these are all fully grown now they're gonna work their way out and uh, at a different time I'll start replacing all of these once I get enough seeds so I think that'll be a good a good thing so all this will grow and I think we're gonna go start adventuring um, I think we should go up to the clay mines up here and see if we can try to collect a lot of tin because tin is going to be the thing that we're going to need the most uh, a lot of the drills and stuff like that require tin and a lot of tin so i think that's what we're going to go do we're going to go up here and go you know, adventure so i ended up putting doors um in a few different spots here so that way we can have access to it and we won't get attacked by enemies coming into our base just wandering so i think that'll be a good idea a uh, good thing about uh, being able to have this guy is we'll be able to spawn some some guys and when we fight well they'll help us fight there you go perfect and then we'll have this kind of stuff happen all the time It'll be great don't have to worry about I got him don't have to worry about uh, fighting alone now. Got partners. All right, so let's just go up this way. All right, so I got a bunch of torches now, ready for a good adventure. So this blue stuff is uh, used for uh, some of those crafts in the the boss statues there that we've been uh, that we unlocked. Gonna need some of that. All right, let's see if we can find anything interesting around here. A lot of ores here, though. I don't think we really need copper anymore, though. Honestly. Uh, was there, like, a chest or something in there? Yeah, there was. Had a flintlock musket in there. Cool. Enrage potion. Physical melee damage. That's pretty neat. Those muskets are pretty um, are pretty OP, actually. All right, let's uh, dig up this way and see what we can find. Okay, so we seem to have made it back to um, the area we were yesterday, which is good. I want to see about uh, getting over there. Did you just try to throw something at me? You crazy bugger, you. All right, let's get in here. Put down the torch. Try to dig our way in. Oh crap. Nice try, man. That was, uh, that was bad. <laughs> Alright. I didn't think I already mined through another area that fast. 
That's fiber. Okay, so these little X's, as I was saying, you can dig them up. You'll get uh, seeds and sometimes armor and stuff. It's kind of interesting. Or items, anyways. Oh, big void over here. Aha. Not bad, not bad. Come over here, boys. Oh, shit. You got me. There we go. Good stuff. Alright, doesn't seem to be too much around here, really. Wonder what's on the other side of that void. We're going to the void. We're checking it out. See what's on the great side, the other side of the great void. Oh, snap. Alright, let's uh, summon some minions here. Oh, okay, that's the... Uh... <laughs> that's beautiful. That's the boss. That's the next boss that we gotta fight, by the way. That's insane. Who are you guys fighting? You guys still trying to target the boss? You guys are hilarious. Funny guys. Alright, let's see what's up this way. Carrot seeds, huh? Guess I lost my minions. They don't stay or stick around for very long. Gonna definitely have to uh, make sure I keep an eye on that. These guys are friendly though. Wonder what they give you though. Really? I'm already full? I just left home. Okay, so they give you some meat. Interesting. Alright, so there's something. You can go this way. Wow, there's um, a lot of stuff here. I should go back and empty out. I'll go back and empty out and I'll come back. All right, so we're back on the other side over here. I put the chest that we had down here, so that way when we uh, do get full, we can do have a place to store some some items, which would be nice. Let's go by here and check out uh, what's over here. Oh. oh. He, uh... He hurt me pretty bad. <laughs> okay, so the... These guys are doing pretty good, actually. Ah! No way! Come on! He got me there! <laughs> oh, God, man. Alright, so we're back with Revenge here. Uh, really? You guys are gonna start shooting him? That's like... Why him? Why? Shoot these guys. Alright, we're gonna come this way, so maybe you stop shooting them. Start shooting these guys over here. Ah, oh, really? You got good aim, man. Impeccable aim. <laughs> I'm gonna put a death counter soon. So, glad I'm not playing permadeath, because that would be a really short series. So, let's uh, try to get these guys in. Aha! Try to dodge your... There we go. Now I got rid of you. Won't be so bad. Regardless, you're still pretty tough. There we go. I think we got him. Yeah, we got you, boy. Alright, so I think uh, this is going to be 10 up here. Would be nice. So let's see. Oh, still looks like copper. Uh, 
Uh, I believe that was copper ant. Yeah. So I guess we're gonna have to stay more in the uh, the other biome down here. All right, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna dig downwards from here. And uh, I think we're gonna go and look the opposite direction because the those caves are actually supposed to spawn on the opposite side, which is kind of weird. I do want to go straight across though. Okay, so it looks like we came across uh, the area where we find the uh, crafting station for the train. I think I'll take that. I'll take that. And I'll take that and that. The train tracks can stay there. Uh, I don't want them right now. We're not at a really dire need of them. This is where I came in. Go straight across. Just trying to build like a, a straight road to wherever I'm going. And then that way, well, once we get to wherever we're going, well, it's always a straight ride back. Oh, yeah. We can have water here already, huh? All right. Damn it. So many voids. Okay, I think we're in the right spot now. Well, it's going to be gold ore. So we should find tin over here now. Now that we're in the right spot. So this should all be tin over here. I'm going to keep my eye out for those, those glowing eyed guys. See what we're doing here. So, where's my tin ore here? Oh, it must have been those blue crystals. All right, interesting. can't run from my guys take that get them boys oh yeah good stuff so we'll go over there and grab whatever you dropped oh so there's more here so maybe I can summon some more guys heal up at the same time right that'd be kind of smart They can get them from there. That's good. I can't see them, but I don't need to. As long as they do. Let's see if we can put a torch there. Oh, oops. got a cave in. Oh, that's scary. So I'm not locked in if anything happens. Come on, man. My health doesn't seem to be going uh, regenerating very fast, though. <laughs> you guys can't see them, or? You guys suck. There you go. There's another one there, boys. Good stuff. 
Get some long range if you can. That's for damn fair. Oh. Oh crap. Wrong button. There you go. At least I'm giving myself room to move. What else we got back here? Really been looking for tin and haven't really found any. Oh. Guy got me from there. That's not cool. Holy, look at the army of them up there. I need to go light some stuff up there. Otherwise, I won't uh, see what I'm aiming at. There you go. I actually put one back here, too. Nice. Way to go, guys. Oh, look at them all up there. You guys uh, afraid to come out or what? The army of them. Found the, the army of Mordor. Really should heal. Damn, huh? I don't know who he hit, if he hit me or the, uh, the other guy. Oh shit, no, you got me that time. Come on guys, attack him. There we go, good stuff. Now I see behind him, he's got tin. So there, we got tin in this area. That's good. And I'm full already. Well, this I can actually eat. Um, I'll just put that there for a second. There we go. Now we got uh, tin collecting. That's good. Wow, there's so many guys here. Let's see if he uh, attacks them. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Come on, you gonna shoot them, boys? There you go. Seems to be dead. Oh, what'd you drop? That looks like the uh, witch doctor mask thing. That'd be good to throw away. Those would be good. Chieftain headdress. There we go. That's worth it. Now I got uh, more minion damage. Magic barrier, magic, and health. Max health. That's good. What do we got over here? What do we got? Probably a bunch of stuff I won't be able to pick up. Ah! Yeah. Alright, let's go empty it. Alright, so we're back up here in this uh, little dangerous area that we got going on. We do have enemies here. Maybe these guys will start attacking. Okay, so I can only have one guy with uh, this headdress, but he does more damage. Interesting. Oh, that's good. Oh, don't move. You were fine there. Oh, look at them all down there. Whole oh, army. Oh, what are you? Another guy came out of the blue here. And see you. Scary. Wow, look at them all. There's a whole horde. <laughs> I better eat. Yeah, let's get another guy going. Because if they're nice enough, they only attack one at a time. We should be should be fine, right? Oops. 
I must have switched by accident. Well, that spear is pretty, pretty deadly, actually. Should try to put another torque down there. So I can see what's going on. Oh, look at that worm. Oh, I've never seen that before. That's pretty dope. They're going to attack it. Oh, I've never seen that before. That was neat. What else we got down here? We got more guys. Sure, we got more guys. Holy army. Mistake. Ah. Oh. I don't know how that didn't hit me. Oh, that was well, that did. I didn't take any damage though. Oh man, look at them all back here. It's like they're they're repopulating as I'm killing them. <laughs> That's insane. Some extra firepower at you. Send a volley at a time. Yeah, that's it, boys. Oh, crap. Oh. I don't know how some of these aren't just hitting me. I'm just, I must be doing pretty good on dodgy dodge here. Maybe they don't like the torches. Oh, crap. Now they're getting me. Ah, missed. Ah, that was close. I better heal. All right, let's get down here. Oh, come on, man. Aha. Nice. All right, doing pretty good so far. I see you. Oh, nice try. Rumple still skinned. Good stuff. Yeah, you guys can see what you're shooting at. So can I. Oh, that was good. That was good. All right, so let's get some some ores here. Probably don't need the copper. I just really want the tin. Make sure that's what we're mining out. Nice. Good, good, good. Oh, we got some more contacts up here. Oh, I take that. <laughs> there. Oh, he dropped an axe. Tin axe. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nice. I guess if you're good for melee damage. Down here. Wonder if there's anything beyond this point. Oh, nice. We well, got some tin down here. That's good. Collect that while I'm here. Tin is always good. Oh, we got a blowy up wall. Oh, snap. See these guys, they actually do mine, which is pretty crazy. I didn't think that was a thing, but they actually do mine. I should be careful. Right, let's eat. Summon. Oh, that was a bad shot. Come on, man. You're not going to set me on fire this time, buddy. I got your game. Come on. Oh. Guess I didn't dodge that one very well. 
Managed to managed to get me. <laughs> God, those guys chase you around pretty good. So I'm a little disappointed that I'm not fighting a ton of uh, a ton of tin. Really, I don't see a lot of like glimmering in the in the walls and stuff. It's kind of crazy. One of those explodey things. That was kind of cheap. There you go. Alright, so there might be a little bit here. So it looks like our pick broke. That's fine. Don't really need a pick to mine, so... I think there's some over this way, so I'll mine over here and we'll go get that. Oh, what the hell is that? They broke through the wall. <laughs> what the hell is that? No, get away from me. <laughs> what the hell happened there? What was the what were those things? Nasty little buggers. <laughs> Oh, I may as well repair my pick while I'm here and go back and get my stuff. Oh, man. And they go after my torches. So these guys really don't like light. It's another another thing. That's interesting. I can throw you away and pick you up. Um, I got enough wood at home. I'll just throw it on the ground. All right. Well, let's kind of continue and get a little bit more, a uh, little bit more tin, and call it an episode. All right, so that's where I'm going to call today's episode. We did pretty good, did some pretty basic stuff. I uh, got our farms up and running, so that way we can get more wood. Um, as soon as we get more tin, well, we can finish off the wood farm. But for now, this is how I'm going to leave it until we also get a lot more um, seeds as well. The, the plants, well, we can uh, harvest them and we can uh, replant them if we get enough seeds, stuff like that. And I'll do this stuff between uh, episodes. That way we can uh, hopefully get some more different types of foods going. And all that good stuff. And I'll probably do more mining for tin. So that way we can probably get more... More good uh, resources. And then we can set up the drills. And then hopefully find a, a tin node out there in the world. Which would be really nice. And if we can find a tin node. Well then we can set up like an auto mining and auto smelting system with time and all that good stuff out there. So got lots to do. And uh, I think the next episode, what I'd like to do is try to get enough tin. So that way we can start making uh, traps and then maybe, maybe attempt to take out that last, uh, the next boss. So well, I hope you enjoyed the video, everybody like subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.